is Fuzzy Wingman, and um, today I'm doing some more Kill Team, obviously. Um, but I got some orcs. Yeah. Finally got some painted. Got them all built done. I have some more to paint to them, because, you know, of course, you don't just get a small group of orcs. You get a large group of orcs. And, well, I only painted the ones that I'm using today, but I'll have more to paint, and then, boom, I'll have more things. So... They're going to play against the standard to pass this team that's been playing against every team that's been introduced. Kind of standard. Um, and then I'm playing one of the missions from the 2019 annual. The orc one, the lure of the loot. Yeah. I just want to see real quickly. Okay. A battle does not end if one team is broken. And then, um, orcs already have the greatest strategic advantage, so orcs can either choose to deploy here or here. And there are two counters in the table because it says I need two, um, a set of objectives equal to the number of players. There are two teams, so there are two objectives. Even though if you really did by per wording, a rules lawyer could say one because there's only one player. Me. But I'm playing for two teams, so that's why I say no. It's per team. Because one player per team, not, you know, one player controlling everything. <clears throat> anyway. And then we talk, I'll have some things for when someone picks up the loot. But until then, let's just, you know, stick with the fact of we got to deploy and crap. And deployment is 11 inches from here. No, 11 inches from center kind of thing. But it really is like a circle, so it's, it's just 11 inches anywhere. So, weep. So, where do orcs want to be? No, oh, they'll take this side. <clears throat> so, Tepestus can deploy their first model. <clears throat> There we go. Alright, how, how, where are the movement speeds of, since I have orc knobs, and boys. Oh, okay, everyone's movement speed is exactly the same. Well, they're playing as Evil Sun, so their movement characteristic is now equal to everyone else at six. Usually, they're five. Go. Some kind of sound outside, I don't know what it is. Yeah, get someone who can advance and shoot, kind of thing. Get someone else over there to come running in, kind of thing. Do I want? Let's see here. Okay. Well. Sounds of it about to start raining or something outside. So Tempestus has to make a thought here. <clears throat> they could make two groups of people to um, deep strike in. But orcs could really just kind of stagger over here. Then it they wouldn't they would have to deep strike over here. 
Well, they'll at least have some people on the field. You know, they, they can help run up the field. There we go, we can get someone over here. Okay, that. Um, Tabestus will put one. The Skissing with Plasma into reserves now. Work with that. And then we got Vox Cascassian into reserves. Okay. And then Skissian with um have um heavy volley uh, volley hot shot, heavy hot shot, I I would have to look up the name. But I know what it is on the stats and stuff, so that doesn't fully matter. And now my kit bash model of a big shooter, because you know, you gotta throw on some tau weaponry and stuff like that. <clears throat> um Guess he'll be kind of over here. There we go. Deployed. Now I can start sliding some things over here since I kind of have to remember little bits about what the evil sons have. Okay. So the evil sons can advance and not take any penalty to their shooting. Well, for assault weapons, which is basically all their goddamn guns. <clears throat> and they get to add one to their assault, uh, to not only their movement characteristic, but their advanced rolls and charge rolls. So they get to go fast. All right. Um. Yeah. That's deployment. Round one. Initiative. Eight, seven, so clearly the orcs have initiative. We might as well just start advancing a bunch of people. I mean, it doesn't really matter because they can still shoot normally and they can get a lot of people on the loop. Three, oh, oh I was rolling for this guy. Forgot to indicate who I was rolling for, so him. Um, it's going to be now four, and his movement characteristic is usually five, but I had one to his movement characteristic, so his characteristic is six, so that means ten in total. So he's already there. Yeah, that's, this is insane. This guy. Alright. He's going to be nine. You know, there's no penalty for advancing, so why not just keep advancing? Him. Uh, that's also, you know, the 10. This guy. He's not going to go as far, so that's 2. He's going to go 8. Oh my god. The minimum they go is eight on these advances. Yeah, why not on the advancing? You can go nine. Get over some terrain and just beat. Darish. This chopper. 
10. This shooter. 10. 10. Funny enough, though, he can't, like, get any farther. No one's been so fast yet. <laughs> no one's rolled above a three, so no one's gone to the point where they can actually land on the... <laughs> on loot. <laughs> that is the funny part, though, is that they have all these great advances, but they haven't... There's one guy who could do it. And that's a whopping... Holy hell, 13. He kind of has to go around some things. So that's five, seven, yeah, have him at least go through his own teammate. I can't remember if he, if he could at least run through your teammates, but either way, I'm doing it. He can run through his teammates. Now I need to read the rules of, does he just immediately pick up the objective? Since we have the first guy touching the loot. Wow, they just have to be within two inches of the objective. And at the end of the movement phase. So these two guys could take it as well. And that's at the end of the movement. I don't think Team Tupesa is going to get there and get the loot. They have to kill everything to stop them. So we'll see what happens in a moment. Alright, um... Team Tupestus. You could at least jump over some barrels. I don't really want to charge right now, but I'm wondering if I kind of need to. Um... Team Tempestus will spend one command point to drop in, you know, the drop where they could do three Tempestus um, and Scions. So, Scion with a plasma gun. Let's see here. <laughs> drop that there. Comes with her. She can get a nice, clean shot at that guy. Well, I should make sure her head is on a nice, clean shot. So I can always drop her somewhere else. And the only thing that's being obscured is this gun, and I don't count guns. <coughs> Mostly, I don't count guns because it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. All right, and then there now he'll have some shots over there, too. All right, time for some shooting, and time for the well, it's gonna be. We might as well start. Oh, end of movement, they also could pick objectives. So, who's picking up objectives? This could be any of these three. One will be picked up by this guy. The other will actually be picked up by this one. Just because these people will have better view of this model than that model. Even though I think this guy has more, maybe more wounds. Since he's a knob. Yeah, this guy has more wounds, but we'll see what happens. Alright, um, we'll start with shooting now, now that we're in the shooting phase. So, quickly we'll give some orders. 
We're actually going to give orders to the Melta take aim. So Melta will have take aim. Let's see here. Let's fire this guy first because orcs have the initiative. All right. So he has a combi weapon with Scorcher. If I do his just shooting part, he's only going to get two shots and it's going to be sixes to hit. For anything that's not obscured, which is just stupid. But he could do the um, Scorcha, which is, you know, D6 automatic hits. He's actually going to choose this as his primary target. Or, correction, he's going to choose Plasma as his primary target. So. D6 shots. As you want to do this. It's going to be hit pretty hard on these guys, so... Two there, two there, one there, one there. So, yeah, that's six, right? Two, four, five, six. Yep. So we'll do the two. That hit plasma. Strength five. Plasma's obscured by this model. And he's a breacher. So that adds one to the wound rolls. So now it's two's to wound. So two wounds. AP minus one, that becomes two five up saves for the plasma. Made one. They're gonna spend a command point to reroll one of those, even though that means they have no more command points for this phase. Oh, that's still not enough. Injury roll. Orcs will spend their command point to reroll that because this is a model they really want dead. Even though that will be their tactical reroll for the phase. Oh, they didn't get get it. All right, now the two shots that hit the um, Melta. It's still it's only gonna be three to wound because Melta's not obscured, so he doesn't get the plus one from his demolitions. So one wound. AP minus one, so five up save. Still failed it. Injury roll. Flesh wound. And now we'll do the one on the comms. Just one. It's two to wound because of demolitions. And the comms is obscured. So it wounds. Five up save for the comms. Saved. And then the model in the front. Three to wound because... No demolitions. Still wounds. Five up save. Saved. Man, it's the people that actually wanted to be injured that were injured. So how do we want to do this? Screw it. Plasma's going to fire. Comms is going to add one to the pla plasma. Plasma is going to put one around here. Where will the other round go? Only has view of these targets. Cannot see that. So we'll put the other round on that target. <clears throat> so first round on this guy. <clears throat> With comms adding one, and the model is not obscured, it's just going to be three to hit because... Still have to subtract one from the flesh wound. So three to hit, going to overcharge, because she's a sniper, so she can reroll ones. She hits anyway. Oh, right. Tempestus, within half range, generates another shot. Two hits. Um, this guy is... Toughness four, so it's twos to wound. One wound at AP minus three, it's gonna go through damage two, which takes out both of his wounds. So we go straight to an injury roll. He's out in the open. So dead. Um, when, I, when you're out of action, when you're holding objective, the objective just drops there, right? They just said it will be dropped. I don't know if I have to drop it like in the center of the model or what. So that's more where the center of the model. Either way, he's dead. 
model kind of dropped. Now we're doing the next shot, which is going to go on this model. Because this guy's dead, this model is no longer obscured. But still one shot, three to hit. Sniper, so reroll ones. Hits, two to wound. Wounds, goes on through. Um, that's just a knob with a big chopper. All right, it was toughness to four, so it was twos to wound. Did have two wounds, so two wounds gone. Damage two for that. They have no command points to re-roll, so he's got flesh wound. <clears throat> All right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Who are the orcs going to have shoot next? I guess the rocket guy. You should shoot at the Melta. Looks like they can see each other pretty much out in the open. So now I just got to find that guy with... Oh, there he is. Orc boy with rocket launcher. Well within, um, so he's not long range, but still one shot. It's going to take his one shot, and it's five to hit because he's an orc. Failed to hit. A melt a gun. Actually, do we want Melt to shoot next? Because I could do the hot shot volume. See, these guys only have like one wounds now, don't they? Yeah, since this is the only other two wound models, this guy now, and the others have one wound. So he might, we might just want to unload with, say, a hot shot volleygon to really just put some people down. Yeah, Hot Shot Volleygun's just going to put four rounds into this guy. Can I make... Actually, he's going to put three in this guy, one in this guy. Just because he might get lucky and take that guy out. And he thinks three on that guy could at least be sufficient to take out that one orc. So three on him. Um, he was the heavy specialist, so he doesn't care that he moved. This guy's out in the open, so three's to hit. All three hit. Strength four versus toughness four, so forced wound. Oh! You'd think they would at least get something there. And then the one shot on this guy. He's obscured. It doesn't matter when you roll one, it doesn't hit anyway. Uh, orcs still have. This guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy to shoot. And this guy will try to shoot at. Well, what? What's this? Okay, he's got a big shooter. Okay, yeah, that guy is definitely within range. So he's gonna put his three shots on that guy. He's obscured, so it's sixes to hit. Nothing. Melt is finally going to do his shooting. He's going to shoot the guy who has the objective because everyone is long range for him. So might as well go for the long range shot on that guy. So long range and he's injured. So it's going to be five to hit. He rerolls ones because the commander, the tapester gave him take aim. So here we go. That's a miss still. This guy will take two shots at this guy. He's out in the open, at least. So two shots. Fives to hit. One hit. Strength four, so it's going to be three to wound. And eh, fails to wound. Uh, 
This guy's going to take two shots at him since he's out in the open for him. And he's not long range. So two shots, threes to hit. One hit. Five to wound. Doesn't wound. So one of the... I just realized these guys have pistols. <laughs> Fine, he'll take his long range shot at this guy, so it's gonna be six to hit. Doesn't hit. Can this guy see that guy? I don't think so. Actually, he can. He's the last one that could see this guy. So he'll do his two shots at that guy. Um, it's going to be fours to hit because obscured. Nothing. It's worth trying because it's a guy with the objective. This guy is going to shoot at this guy. He's actually long range because his pistol. He's just barely like a millimeter away from getting... Half range, but still long range. So six to hit. Actually hits. Strength four, so three to wound. Wounds. No AP, so four up armor. Failed the armor. Injury roll. Flesh wound. Doesn't like being shot, so he's going to shoot at that orc. Two shots. Fours to hit because of injury. Oh, look at that. Big whiff. Uh, so we're just going to shoot at no one. Because these guys are at long range, and long range is a penalty, and obscured is a penalty, which makes it that he can't do crap. So he can't shoot anyone. These guys have like at least grenades, which aren't, they can't do. So Oryx pretty much have finished shooting. So we'll just continue shooting with um, Team Tempestus then, because they're the only ones that could shoot. Cool, we got Hot Shot Last Pistol, how... Th a hot Shot Last Pistol doesn't even have range to anyone because it's 6 inch range. Well, we at least got two Scions with um, Hot Shot Last Guns. Okay. Make sure who can see what so I don't kill a model or something and then shoot at something they can't shoot. All right, both models can see both targets. Both targets are, are obscured. This one, if it was just like this guy was moved slightly there, then it would have been full range, but it's literally like this model's head blocks this guy's leg right there. So. Who wants to shoot first, and who will they shoot at? You know what? Voxcaster's just going to shoot at the, um, orc knob there. Right? Or, actually, no. It's that... is really debatable of whether or not it's in short range. Uh, if it's long range or half range, but this model is clearly in half range, so she's going to take two shots at that model. Um, obscured, so forced to hit. Caught. Maybe they'll actually get it. Oh my god. Tempestus is just rolling these ones and twos, which is really bad for them. And this model will shoot at the knob. Can see it. Oh my. They're not even... They're like shooting as bad as the orcs, and... 
They're supposed to be shooting better. Well, that's shooting. No one's in melee yet. All right, there are nine Tempestus, three of them, so they don't have to do morale, morale rolls yet. I think Plasma has enough people around them to pass. Also, they have no one out, so if I roll six, they get a six, which is still, should be a pass for a Scion. Yep, so even this guy's gonna be fine. So, not rolling for morale. Orcs injured, but has enough people around, and I'm pretty sure he's fine. Plus, they have things like keep in order. So, we're fine. This is fine. Round two. Orcs are at three command points. Scions are at two. Who's got the initiative? Orcs again. Well, we might as well just do orc stuffs. Orc is charging that scion. Let's see here, what, the distance was just barely beyond six. So he falls back. It's gonna be barely beyond nine. Oof. The scion realizes that just makes the orc, the orc is likely gonna make the charge because they add one to the advance roll. So rolling an eight's pretty easy and might get pretty close. And all he does is leave the orc here, probably dies and the orc can move there. So instead he's gonna hold his ground, try to kill the orc with overwatch. Gets a hit. All right. What's the wording on this Tempestus thing? It says when making a shooting attack, Overwatch is described as a special shooting attack. So this actually technically generates another shot. I mean, granted it needs another six, so thankfully that didn't hit. That would be insane. Well, we now rolled a wound. That's a wound. AP minus two, right? Oh god, why has it been so long since I've done hot shot? AP minus two. Orc boy is oh six up save. So yeah, that's definitely through. It's definitely an injury roll. Let me check if the guy's out in the open because he might be. Oh yep, yeah, that was out in the open. That orc is dead. Go you for Overwatch. This chopper, this orc boy, is declaring charge on these two. This guy could fall back. If he falls back, say there. Hey, this guy's gonna fall back. So then he still has shots over here if this commander's still alive to give him orders. Which, the commander probably can. And this guy's gonna overwatch. So this guy overwatches. Six is to hit. Nothing. Orc boy. I mean, I don't even have to roll the X. Even though this one's kinda cocked, I don't have to roll it. Go on there. Big Choppa is declaring a charge on Pell, these three models. Do they want to fall back? Ooh, let's see here. An orc knob with a Big Choppa is going to be pretty devastating with how many attacks they have. Does the Melta want to fall back and try to... No, they're, they're going to hold their ground. Melta's going to overwatch. Melta failed. This Scion's going to overwatch. Technically, they generate attacks. Alright, well, two hits. 
kind of wound. No. Do they want to spend a command point to try to reroll one of those? They will. They'll spend one command point. It's for this phase, so, you know. Nope. Wouldn't funny. And Hotshot Last Pistol's not in the distance to shoot, so can't overwatch with that. So charge distance. Oh my. They'll spend a command point to reroll that. Because they can. There we go. <laughs> now it's in. Then one inch for that guy. Yeah, that is within one inch from there, so. Now I've got them. So Orc Boy's actually going to get closer to the... Yeah, these Orc Boys are going closer to the objective. Oh, right, you can't advance while you're holding an objective. But they still get to add one to their movement characteristic, so he gets to move his six inches and... Go back here. He's falling back. So he just has to... Does he have to go off his own edge for the, um, the secure loop? He can move off any edge. It's just a thing at this point, maybe this edge is closer than that edge, so he just keeps going. Also, he stays out of line of fire if he keeps going this way. And because this guy might be able to take shots on the big chop, is actually going to go around and charge this poor model. Who can't see or do can't see him, so he can't overwatch. So he's just gonna do the smart thing, be like <laughs> three inch fallback. Right, I should indicate people who've fallen back so far. He wants to make this big job his charge distance really difficult. Um, they've already spent their reroll for this phase, so he can't spend it. He's going the distance. It's still right there. Right there in their face. And this guy is going to move here, get some shots on people. Now, to Pestis' turn. Oh boy. I don't think they really want these people this close for when this orc finishes killing. They also want shots on these guys. They're gonna risk it. They're gonna hope that these guys can hold for at least one turn. You know, they're hoping for holding the line. So we'll ready up. And now, top of shooting phase, orders. Give this guy the whole ability to shoot after falling back. And they will... Do they want to spend the command point to make this guy have that ability too? So they have the tactic to give one extra order. They're going to hold on to that... that, that um, Command point. They want it for other abilities. They, they're they afraid of what's about to happen. This guy can potentially get off the field with things. Alright. Rating models can shoot first. Let's see how obscured these two are for the sniper. Got going a lot in front of her. Amazingly, she could still draw a line from her shoulder to that guy. So that means she can actually shoot at him. And this guy actually gets obscured by the barrel. And, you know, the big knob in front of her. Yeah. She's gonna... Um, the comms is gonna add one to her shot rolls, and she's gonna put a shot here and here. So it's actually gonna be four to hit. Because obscured and injured, comms adds one, so get to just minus one, and that will be, yep, so one shot here, four to hit. 
Hits, two to wound. Wounds, blazes it on through that six up armor. Damage two. Um, ooh, do they spend their command point now? It's someone that, oh, right, right, right. They would have taken in the objective. Who would have taken the objective? Actually, they would have done the guy in the back to, because it's end of movement, they take the objective. So he would have done the guy in the back because he's closest to moving off. In which case, they would not spend a command point to reroll that because he's not the one holding the objective. They leave it at Flesh Wound. And now the other shot that goes to this guy. Four to hit. Generates another shot. Okay, this one was a six. That it hit. Imposed. So two hits. Oh, boys. W one wound. But it was enough to go through, so... Damage two. All right, the five kills this guy. Well, didn't need to worry about that because at least that guy's dead. <clears throat> Who do they shoot at next? Actually, oh right, I need to see if these two even see this guy. This guy might be fully blocked by Knob for them. Alright, Vox actually can't see this guy. This guy can see things. Now, can Vox... Right. Knob will be blocked for Vox. Everyone will be blocked for the Vox caster. <clears throat> so who do we shoot <clears throat> with the with these two? Since it's gonna be fives to wound, irregardless of who they target. I mean, yes, they might be able to kill an orc, but an orc boy, but. The problem here is he's already injured, so it's not like that would help reduce morale. So this guy's actually going to shoot this guy. He's out in the open for him. Two shot, threes to hit. Oh my god. You know what? They haven't spent their command point. They're re-rolling their one of these shots. Gets a hit. Is it going to wound? Unlikely, but it was worth trying. Failed wound. Comms is gonna also shoot at the knob. It's two shots for us to hit. Nothing. I think the orcs are gonna win this guy. Now, how long is the rocket? Where's the rocket launcher's range? 24, so it could take a shot at someone. So it's long range and obscured, which I think becomes, yeah, seven to hit. So he can't shoot anyone. Um, I guess we could see if this guy could shoot someone. Ah, big shoot is 36 inch range, so he can shoot at people without being long range. So it's going to be three shots. He's going to put it on the comms. Comms is dangerous. <clears throat> Six to hit. <laughs> he rolled just as bad as the Tempestus. <clears throat> now, this guy is going to fire his four shots into that. Because, you know, clearly he wants to. It's obscure, so four is to hit. He's the heavy specialist, so he doesn't care that he moved. And since he got the ability to fire after falling back, it doesn't matter. Um, this one generates another shot. Which doesn't hit. Three hits. Strength four versus toughness four. Correct. Yes, the guy has toughness four, so four is to wound. Whoo! Three wounds. That all go through his armor. It's just the problem is it's still one die for injury roll. That's super on edge. Damn. Just a flesh wound. Well, they might be causing 
morale checks at this point. I think everyone's probably going to end up doing morale checks. I have a feeling all these orcs are about to kill. Melee time is going to be bad time. Is that all shooting? Yeah, because this guy can't shoot at anything because they're obscured and he's injured. And that becomes sevens to hit for him. He charged, so he can't do anything. Yeah, there we go. Shooting's complete. Melee time, starting with charged models. Let's just do an orc boy first because, you know. So, an orc boy has two attacks. And since he's using a choppa, he gains one extra attack. Three attacks. Three's to hit. Two hits. Strength four. Yep, strength four. So three's to wound. Two wounds. Two four up saves for the scion. What? He survived. He's good. Um, this guy, he's a specialist. He is the combat specialist. So he gains one extra attack. So he has four attacks. He's going to put two on the Tepester because that's the leader, and then one on the rest. So the two on the Tepester. Uh, he has an injury on him. So it's going to be fours to hit. So one hit at strength seven. So that's two to wound. Wounds. AP minus one for a big chopper. So it still gets a five up save. Failed it. No command points to re-roll that. Damage is two, so it went through this Pester's armor. Orcs have a command point. They're re-rolling this injury roll. There they go. They killed something. But then you have no more tactical re-rolls for this turn. For the spacing. So another attack on there. Four to hit. Failed to hit. Attack on the Melta. Failed to hit. Oh, we can reroll charge rolls. With here we go. So this guy's charge rolls are didn't require a command point to reroll. Did I even spend a command point to reroll? I don't. I think I did. Oh God. I need to remember orcs have that ability. Oopsies. Well, that's the orcs punching now. Tempestus punch back. Um, so Melta is actually going to go here, and now he's going to do his punch. I mean, it's not likely going to hit. Oh my god, it hit. Still needs like a five to wound, though. Okay, if he had wound, I would have been amazed. Um, this guy's going to punch. I think it's four to hit. Either way, it doesn't, didn't hit. This guy's going to punch. Uh, I'll need to double check. Pretty sure Scions are... Um, at least four to hit. Yeah, that's a hit. Doesn't wound, though. So that's melee. Now we actually go on to morale phase. Um, <clears throat> how many orcs were there in total? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So they had nine in total. Oh, right, they were, I think, matched to Tempestus. <clears throat> well, they have six dead and injured. Three dead, three injured. So they definitely have to do a break test. Which they pass. Tempestus, I'm pretty sure, is going to have to do a break test. Let's see here. They have one dead, one, two, three injured. So that's four out of nine is less than half. Oh, Tempestus keeps going. <clears throat> oh, orcs still need to do um, morale rolls for people who have one, who have injuries. Um, let's see here. I need to kind of check things here. Since this guy might actually see super, super matter, he also has an ability that can help. The others. Oh, he's not close enough. 
And these guys at least counter for each other. But this guy doesn't have anyone. And what are these guys' morale? Since they're orc boys. Okay, and these guys are leadership six. And these guys have a higher, better chance of passing. So he'll start with this guy. Two, pass. This guy. Six, minus one. And still becomes an eight. So this guy fails. So he's shaken. Now we roll for the knob. Ooh, and this is worse for the snob now. That's four. Plus three that are dead. Plus the guy who's shaken. That becomes an eight. So the knob... Oh, man, they don't have anything to, like, re-roll, can they? So, yeah, the knob is shaken. This knob actually failed morale. Woo! That makes it a little bit easier for Team Tapestus now. And we're only... Well, that was the end of round two. Now it's round three. Um, orcs still go up to three command points because they still have their leader. Tempestus only goes up to one command point because their Tempestor got poofed. And orcs still have the initiative. Should just leave the token over there, for crying out loud. So movement phase. And this guy just kind of... He's got the objective with them. And this guy is going like over here. He still needs to be two inches. There, making sure he's close to the objective. This hard boy is staying. This knob is charging all three of these models. And just see, does Tempestus think they could even do anything? Tempestus knows he's the only chance of trying to stop that guy. These three are going to stand their ground and overwatch. Because they at least have this guy still alive. So this one, this scion, overwatching. Nothing. Plasma, overcharging, overwatching. Ooh, nothing. Boxcaster, nothing. Uh, I think that's in. You know, that's a whopping 11. He's, he's kind of just like, I'm here, guys. Let's have a party with your insides. <clears throat> um, he's shaking, they're shaking, so those two are just kind of there. Wow. Um, Tempestus time. Fallen back. Now the problem is, if, does D? All right. How do the rules work? Oh, it just has to. As soon as it ends its movement, it's not at the end of the movement phase. So he picked up the counter. So this guy going there doesn't actually stop that. <clears throat> Still has a shot. Can he even hit? Long range, injured, obscured? Well, it might not be obscured. Even even if it's obscured, he still has a shot, so it's still worth it. <clears throat> and does this guy want to fall back for later? All right, this guy fell back, so he can't shoot. Don't have a commander to make sure that they can fall back and shoot. Which is this way, 
Four inches this way. He's also falling back. And this guy will just stay in melee. Um, yeah, shooting time. This guy's actually most worried about this guy, so... I actually have to go over and check if this guy has an obscured shot. He's long range, it's at least gonna not hit. This obscures, so he can't hit. Now what about that guy? These two actually could draw a very clear line of sight. Is it long range? Oh, yes it is. So one shot, six to hit. They'll spend their command point to reroll that because he wants to make sure no one can shoot this guy. Still misses because long range. Yep, now we do the hot shot volley gun firing his four shots at this guy. Yep. Long range obscured. So, yeah, fives to hit. One hit. Four to wound. Fails to wound, but they're spending their command point to reroll that because this has the best chance of causing a wound. And they still fail. This guy's just going to shoot his three shots into that guy. Still six is to hit because he has an injury on himself. Just shoots into the air. Kind of like an orc. This guy's going to shoot. He's got his, what, one long range shot? Ooh. Long range and injured. So, five to hit. Doesn't hit. I mean, he had a five to hit and a five to wound, so I doubt he was going to do anything. They have to prevent this guy from getting off the board edge. Oh, that's all the shooting. No, wait, no. This orc can shoot this guy because he, he, he doesn't have a pistol. What the orc does, five to hit, doesn't hit. All right, um, melee. Starting with charge models. This guy is the leader. So he only has three attacks because he just doesn't have anything to add. He's just going to put one on each model. Three to hit, so this guy hits. Um, two to wound. Wounds. AP minus one, so five up save. Psst, saved. The attack on the plasma. Hits. Wounds. Failed to save. Damage two. Well, this is a three, but he already has one wound, so dead. The attack on Vox doesn't hit. They have a command point, they'll spend it. Still doesn't hit. And now they go to non raid models. Orc Boy goes first. Oh god. What were they? Three attacks, if I recall? Yes, three attacks. Can we threes to it? Two hits. Threes to wound. Two wounds, two four up saves for this scion. Oh, he failed one. Injury roll. Uh, just a flesh wound. Well, I say just a flesh wound, but that still means they're probably gonna do a break test. Um, punching back. We'll just do this scion. He's injured, so it's like five to wound or something. I and mean, five to hit. Either way, didn't hit. This scion, four to hit. Doesn't hit. This scion. Doesn't hit. Alright. That's that. Shooting melee. Now we go on to morale phase, starting with orcs. I know they still have to do a break test because it's still the same of six. That is a very failed, that's a very broken team. So they're going to roll this guy first because he's the most important. Nine. He's shaken. He cannot get off the board. That just helps Team Tempestus a lot. 
Um, who are they going to roll next? Oh, this guy's an objective. Roll for him. Two plus four is six. Well, he has this guy next. Yeah, that guy was next to him, so it's actually was going to subtract one. So he just barely passes. This guy. He's got this guy within... Two. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Big chop. Well, they need three inches. Well, they can help each other, at least. But, um, so this guy... Let's see here. Four plus... Another four is eight, so... He, he's shaking. Even if I subtract one from him, it's still seven, so he's shaking. Still. Let's do this knob. Nah, he's the boss. Oh, he rolled a five. Which is not going to help. Because with all the shaking and stuff, that's ten. And he needed to roll six to, to have the whole keep in order. So he failed his morale check. Funny enough, it doesn't say that the um, keep in order needs the guy to be not shaken. So he can still roll a six and pass. So let's roll him. Two plus, well, we have one, two, three shaken. Well, there's six now. That's an eight. He actually gets shaken. So we've now gone it where they have to roll ones to pass. So him. Failed. So the orcs are actually in a really bad state now. Um, Tempestus. Right? They have to do a break test? Oh, God. Let's see here. Um... This guy's injured, this guy's injured, this guy's injured. So that's three, two dead, that's five, that's more than half. Seven? Oh, I think... Don't think they have anyone with a leadership seven on their team still alive. Yep, Team Tempestus is also broken. Time to start rolling. Um, well, they at least can re-roll for now. So we'll start with this guy since, you know... Let's see here. Actually, let's start with the guy most likely to pass. This guy. Um, that's still seven, which would be a fail, but he can reroll because Vox Caster. Well, so much for that. So um, let's roll this guy. Oh my God! Well, Vox Caster is still not shaken, so he can still reroll. Oh, you need now you're rolling all your fives and sixes, Tempestus? Great. This guy. Alright, um three plus four is of course seven, because these two shake and make it now even worse. Is a re-roll because Voxcaster? No, he's failed. Let's roll this guy, sure. Failed. Let's re-roll because Voxcaster. One, two, three, shaken. Plus five, two more is five, so that's a seven still. I'm running out of shaken tokens because everyone's freaking shaken. Actually, wait. This guy was not within two, so this guy didn't help him. If he was just a tad closer... He would have passed his morale, but he didn't. So now let's just roll this guy. He passed. The guy in the worst state. This guy. Passed. Voxcaster. Failed. Reroll because of Vox. Now Vox is done. Oh, look. My last shaking token, I think. Oh, my God. And the game doesn't technically end. So, round four. Um, orcs are now at two command points. Tempestus is at one. See who has the initiative. It's the exact same roll there. That's the exact same roll. There we go. Tempestus has gone the initiative for its first time. Who can do anything? At 
This guy can fall back. And get closer to this guy. Look, I'm over here now. Oh, jeez. Can he actually... No, he can't get between the container. He can only be, like, here. The guy's basically... You'd have to climb the container to youth one inch, so that's about as far as he can go. This guy's moving forward. He can still move around and shoot some things. This guy... See, the thing is, he could charge this guy and prevent them from shooting that guy, but he doesn't think that guy's going to get up and get off the field. Yeah, screw it. He's an orc. He's going to declare a charge on that guy. This guy will overwatch because he might as well just shoot the shit out of this guy. And get two sixes, which generate two more attacks. So, two hits. Forest wound. One wound. AP minus two, so it goes through his six up armor. Injury roll. Becomes a six because of this. The guy actually dies. That was the one thing he did risk, was that. But Team Tepesta still doesn't hold the, have a, an objective. And now we move on to shooting phase because the orcs can't move anyone else because that was the only guy who was not shaken. He's no longer long range. He can actually just... These points actually just go between... Whoop. These two points actually go between this guy's legs so he can actually see this model. So it's not obscured. And it's not long range, is it? Yeah, so... The team is broken. That's the only penalty. Oh, boys. Four shots. Four is to hit. Sixes generate more shots. So, six hits. Dude, now you're doing well? What the hell? Uh, three wounds. Obviously, that goes through to an injury roll. They're going to spend their one command point to re-roll that. The guy was out in the open, so dead. They at least dropped the objective. But I don't think... <laughs> basically, they made it so no one's going to win by objective on this point. It's going to be probably a draw or something. Can't remember if it goes by kills next. I'll figure that out very soon. Why did... Oh, this moved to six after when this thing fell over. So it was at four. Um, I would say melee, but the people in melee are all shaken. So they're all just cowering in fear together. Now they're just hugging the orc knob as the orc knob cries. Um, <clears throat> yeah, now we just move on to morale phase. Or we remove these shaken tokens and probably add them right back. All right. Team Tepestus has no command points to spend to make anyone automatically pass, so they're going to roll for people who matter. They're going to start with this guy first. He has the least likely chance of failing. There, this time, he passed. They'll roll the Voxcaster as well. Passed. These two are good. So now we'll roll for the guy closest to objective. Passed. This guy. Uh, the only... That's a five. Still passed. This guy, he's got someone next to him so that he even has a better chance of passing. He passed. This guy. Um, let's see here. That's actually a six. He still passes. This guy passes. Ooh, Team Tempestus has fully passed. Team Tempestus is going. Orcs time. They're going to roll for the guy near in the objective. He's the most... He's not within three inches of this guy, so that's still a fail. You can't pass with the six on that. So let's roll for this guy. Roll to two. Plus the five guys are dead. That's still a seven. 
He's a regular knob. A knob, regular knob is still a leadership six, so he still failed. This guy, that's a fail. If the knob failed at two, he failed at that. Um, now the boss knob. Four plus that all that, he failed miserably as well. So orcs do not have anyone available. Um, does the game end? Nope, it goes on. So round five. Um, I'm not even going to bother with initiatives because Team Tempestus is the only one not, with not shaken models. So he's going to, actually, he's going to go like over there. He finished his move within two inches, so he picked up the objective. This guy is going to advance. Oh, right, they go up. Command points. So they're at one command point. Orcs are at three. They could have spent command points to make people pass. Oops. I forgot to do that. Um, well, Team Tempestus is going to spend his command point to reroll this advance roll because that was. Okay. Still within two. You can pick it up. So, if the game continues. These, this guy can at least get off the, off the field. This guy cannot. So they can't advance. These two will ready up to give cover and fire. And this guy will move over here. So you can shoot at the boss knob. And these two are actually going to stay in melee because, you know, they can punch him. So we go on to shooting <clears throat> time. You know what? We're going to do Melta shooting into that guy. Melta is injured and team is broken. So it's five to hit. Doesn't hit. Doesn't care. This guy firing two shots into the orc in front of him. Oh, right. Randy Miles go first. Well, it doesn't really freaking matter. This guy's going to shoot. Again, fives to hit because team is broken and he's injured. Six still generates another attack. Well, one hit. Doesn't wound. This guy doing, doing firing two shots into that guy. It's forced to hit because team is broken. Gets nothing. Heavy volley gun firing. Oh my god. Clean line of sight, so four shots into this guy. Forced to hit. One hit, four to wound. Doesn't wound. Two shots from this guy into the orc knob. Fives to hit because injured and team is broken. Gets nothing. So shooting is already done. Let's just go on to these two guys punching. Let's just roll them both because they're both um, fives to hit. So nothing. We go back to morale. Um, ooh. They're gonna roll for this guy first. Two, four, he passed, that's good. Now let's roll for, oh, this guy has two people running. If he rolls a six, he passes, so passed. Now we roll for Vox, passed. Roll for this guy, passed. This guy, um, Tracked one from there. So it becomes, oh, four. Ooh, very passed. 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 Man, they had one round of bad morale, and the rest just, they pass everything. For orcs. Uh, um, they're going to spend the command point to make this guy pass, because they need someone to try to prevent that potentially um and you can only spend the command point once so they have to roll morale for the rest 
This guy. That's five or dead, so that's still seven. He still fails. If they had rolled this guy first, that might have been good. So they're going to roll this guy. Unfortunately, because this guy is now shaken, that becomes an eight, so he failed. He's leadership seven. They should have rolled him first. Whoops. Order matters. This guy. Also shaken. So they only got one work boy to pass morale phase. But the question remains, does the game end? No, it, it, it continues. It is round six. Um, orcs are at three command points. Tempestus is at one. Nine, but Scions have, no, Tempestus has 10. And because the Tempestus have the initiative, that basically gives them the victory. Because this guy, Walks off the board with loot. I can't advance, but I could at least get this guy really close to getting off the board with loot. <laughs> because they don't want to let this orc boy do much. This guy's going to declare charge on the orc boy. Orc boy's going to lease Overwatch and get nothing. And he just says to not roll snake up. Oh, wow. He goes there. He's got a charge. Just to prevent the orc boy from charging this guy. That's what they can do to prevent. And these two guys are going to just be ready to shoot. And these two guys are just going to continue punching. I might as well continue on just to see how badly things go. So, we'll just have this guy shoot into that orc. Two shots, four is to hit. Nothing. Two shots into this guy. Five is to hit. Nothing. Uh, charged models go first, so he charged. He's going to punch. Nothing. Um, now we're going to non ready models. Punch. Actually hits. Doesn't wound. This guy punches. Hits. Doesn't wound. They have a command point. They're spending it. They're going to make it wound. It wounds. Armor save. Passed. Sion, uh, Dox guys for punching. Hits. Wounds. Well, an orc. He has a four up armor save. Which he makes. Oh my god, that would funny if this guy just like started blinking off their, the health. Um, I'm not even going to do morale phase because it will, does not matter. Because the game ends after turn six. So, end. Now let's actually see what victory points are and how it, how it counts. Holy heck, it really was the player that had the most successful escape with loot counters by the end of the battle. Otherwise, it's a draw. Because this one scion got off with the loot, Tempestus wins. Just barely. That was a very intense game. Um, I think the orcs... Could have potentially won a lot of those times. It just... That was a very close game. Very close. That I would still kind of say it was more like a draw than Tepesis won. But still, that was, that was a good match. So anyway, that was Orcs. That now they've joined my um, collection of, te uh, of kill teams. I have another kill team that I'm going to start building. And then I'm going to have to paint at some point. But probably until that team is ready, I might just start, I might continue playing with some of the teams I have built. Um, but yes, another um, new faction is definitely going to be coming and joining the ranks. Because, you know, this is the year I'm trying to get as many, as much variety into this channel. So anyway, have a fabulous day, everybody.